want to touch a bit on this controversial event in Detroit. So there was um, a, a music event that was organized by a black youth group and it got controversy because it was charging white patrons twice as much as black patrons. So that was $20 versus $10. And this is actually from CNN, which is surprising. Um, so I'm going to read out the first bit and some other key, key details and then comment a bit about this. An Afrofuturist group says it reversed its decision to charge white people more for tickets to its Detroit festival than black and brown people because they received threats and artists dropped out and a ticketing website threatened to unpublish their event. The Eventbrite page for Afrofuture Fest, hosted by Afrofuture Youth, advertised an early bird POC, that's people of colour, ticket for $10, um, and an early bird non-POC ticket for $20. The group defined non-POC as white people. News of the group's charging practices hit social media last week when rapper Tiny Jag said she was unknowingly added to the August event but agreed to support and perform. Tiny Jag told CNN she was not going to be paid for the performance. Once the rapper caught wind of the prices, she said she was triggered. Um, and this is what she tweeted. A non-POC friend of mine brought to my attention that Afrofuture is requiring non-people of colour to pay twice the amount to attend the festival as people of colour, she tweeted on July the 2nd. This does not reflect the views of myself or of the Tiny Jag team. I will not be playing this show. I apologise for anyone who may have been triggered or offended. Uh, and the rapper said that she is biracial and her grandmother is white. Uh, she told CNN Monday she felt emotionally triggered because the charging practice makes a group of people feel like they're not wanted at the event, and uh, like they're paying a debt for another community. I didn't think we were near that thinking that something like that could be progressive, she said. We have never seen it work. I don't understand. Um, and she pulled out, so credit to her. Eventbrite said in a statement to CNN, they don't permit events that require attendees to pay different prices based on their protected characteristics, such as race or ethnicity. In this case, we have notified the creator of the event about this violation and requested that they alter their event accordingly. And if they don't do so voluntarily of their own accord, uh, if they do not wish to comply, we will unpublish the event completely from our site. So they obviously don't want to be associated with it. Um, now, the group itself says its reasoning for doubling ticket prices for white people was because white people have the privilege to attend festivals in people of colour populated cities. In other words, the group says white people can afford tickets to any event in any city while black and brown people cannot. That's entirely a matter of opinion. The United States of America has plenty of poor white people, so it's just a go to nonsense argument. Um, but even if it was true, it's still discrimination. And they claim their pitch is for equity over equality. And the report finishes, CNN has reached out to Afro Future Youth for comment, but has not heard back. Okay. Um, you know what pisses me off about this? Um, well, this is their excuse. Events often designed for marginalised black and brown communities can be easily co-opted by those of cultural, monetary and class privileges, Afrofuture Youth wrote in its explanation on Eventbrite. The group added that they're promoting equity over equality for black youth. Non-POC individuals are encouraged to provide additional donations as acknowledgement of this historical inequity. Uh, no self-respecting white person should go to this thing because... You know, they're being treated as the enemy. If you like um, the music that they're offering, they're not going to welcome you. They see you as the enemy. So to white people who want to go to this, it's up to them. But I personally don't know why they would insult themselves or allow themselves to be insulted in that way. Um, personally, I hope the event falls apart. I hope um, even with the reversal, because... Their reversal was only for selfish reasons. They claim that they've been targeted by white supremacists and for the safety of all patrons, they're going to change it to $20, but they're still going to put a unique um, emphasis on white patrons to make donations. Um, well, what about wealthy black patrons? I mean, black rappers aren't exactly short of cash. Um, 
you know, crap like this quite honestly really angers me because I think that minority racists get away with things that white racists don't. And it's not that I think white racists should get away with it, but why the double standards? And, you know, minority apologists who come out with, oh, well, what about the Jim Crow era? What about historic persecution, discrimination? That's true. There was historic persecution and discrimination. But the answer to that is not by hating the entire white race. It's not by discriminating against the entire white race or pushing the false narrative that all white people are economically privileged because they're not. I challenge these event organisers to go up to the next white homeless person they see, and there's plenty of them, and say to them, you're privileged. I'm sick and tired of hate mongers like this. I am sick and tired of minority hate mongers getting away with it. Now, I'm surprised CNN's even reported it. Um, and they reported it just as kind of a matter of fact. The Detroit Festival charged white people $20 and black people $10. Then they got hit with backlash. But, you know, if it was a white supremacist thing, they would be just saying it. Racist white supremacist. Da, 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 da. I think there is growing white resentment in America and per, on some level in this country as well because of the double standards because black racists simply get away with it by hiding behind historical injustice or saying, um, oh, it's okay for me to be a racist because I'm black. You know, until media outlets start treating all racists with the same contempt, nothing's going to change. I give this rapper Tiny Jag um, credit. Hopefully that will send out a message. But quite honestly, I think people like this who are the event organisers they're so far into their tunnel vision of moral righteousness that they're not capable of introspection. They're not actually capable of saying, oh, well, maybe we were wrong, okay? Because all this backlash is, oh, well, it's a white supremacist. They don't like black people being empowered. That's not the issue. What people are angry about is the fact that you're making a racist policy on your entrance uh, charges. <sighs> You know, discriminating against white people will not help a single underprivileged black youth. Not a single one. So the backlash is totally understandable. But what I find sickening is then the, you know, those who are blatantly taking this racist attitude are now playing the victim. Oh, we're being targeted by trolls online. We're being targeted by white racists. Maybe they are. But what the hell did they expect? I really would like to see some consistency with the media. I would like to see black racists being put on the spot and said, how do you justify this racist policy? And not tiptoe around the word. Let's call it what it is. Because whilst the term racism can be thrown around, discriminating against someone because of the colour of the skin is blatantly racist. Right? So... <sighs> any white person that supports this, they're, they're just... You know, they're kidding themselves. You know, if you like this sort of music and you go to the event, it's up to you. But, you know, you're going to an event organized by people who have contempt for you. They see you as the enemy. And to black people who are supporting it, you're, you're supporting a racist position. You can't say, oh, because of history. No, racism is racism is racism. And I'm sick and tired of minority racists getting off the hook. They've got a backlash, but I think white uh, a white event would have, you know, been meeting hate crime charges or, or worse. Um, the double standards are absolutely infuriating people, and it's going to be stuff like this that will get Donald Trump re-elected, and they've no one to blame but themselves. So I would like to see more vocal criticism of black uh, and other minority racists, as as vocal as the criticism of white racists. And I'm not here to defend white racists, you know, criticise them, fine. I have no sympathy whatsoever for white supremacists, but they're no better. They're just playing up the victimhood mentality, or we're victims, therefore it's all right for us to be racist. And that's what every racist does, actually. They all have a victimhood mindset to justify their own racism, whether it be white supremacists or um, black hate mongers or whoever it is. I saw a book in Waterstones recently, Why I Refuse to Talk to White People About Race. You know, 
genuine white progressives need to recognize that this is, it's things like this that are just dividing society. They're not helping underprivileged black youth by this sort of perverted division. Because all that's going to happen is less people are going to go to the festival, which means less money for the charity. Stupid. So shame on uh, Afro Futurist Fest. Shame on its apologists and shame on anyone who makes excuses for any kind of racism.